tape ready, so I'm back once again. I've actually already shot this uh, within my kind of the whole year camera experience video, but I had a few people just say to me, can I actually have, uh, we wanted to know what the pro settings are. So this is just dedicated for those people who want just the pro settings on there. So we're gonna go through them really quickly. So I think this one here is, I believe this is your exposure level. So you actually put it up to plus two or minus two. So you can go all the way down, all the way up, and then up. I can't even tap it, and then all the way up, down. See, I can't even get my bloody words out, can I? We've then got the shutter speed, which ranges to anywhere between 10 and 1 over 24,000. Yes, I think that's pretty impressive for a, a smartphone camera. And then you've got your ISO, which is between 1 and 800, or you can obviously have it on auto mode. And you've got your white balance, you've got your different kind of options there. So you've got your kind of your indoor one, your incandescent, your daylight, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the other ones are called. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. So Cloudy Day, Kelvin. Aha, uh -huh, look, you can actually choose the exact Kelvin mode as well. That's pretty cool for me because I use the 5500 Kelvin bulbs. This will make sure that it will be exactly the same. We've then got Auto Focus. So here's your manual focus options. So you can scroll down, it's going to be your macro. And then all the manual focus here for it. Again, pretty cool. You then got your different kind of filters, which again, not really think it should be in a pro mode because you know it's not really a pro feature i don't think have you ever used a filter on a on a dslr people i don't think i have no we've then got the custom option here so this way you can save your custom settings so you can save up to three of those ones there which is pretty dandy but that's pretty much it in terms of the manual options for you people there's no kind of audio levels etc etc it's just that's pretty much it but the one thing you can do is do the I think here is the center autofocus. We've got the multi autofocus and the center autofocus. We've then got the center. We've then got, um, is it Manix? Matrix? I can't even see that. So, Matrix and Spot. That's for obviously your metering modes there. You then got your self timer. And then, obviously, just here you've got your flash on or off. And then you've got your resolutions. Apart from that, you can save in RAW. So, yes, with a pro mode, you can save in the RAW format, which is pretty damn cool. But anyway, well, that's it. That's a quick look at the pro camera setting on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. And go on, subscribe. Why? It's free. Anyway, people, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.